here we go. Let's go into your reading. So one thing I'm very struck with on this side of, of the reading, Cancer, is if there's a situation going on, an emotional situation with another person, this person is a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, sun, moon, or rising, not sure what, but it's a fire energy, female or male. Um, and I feel like you're battling. I feel like you have a combative energy with this, this other person that you love dearly, you love very much. Um, but I feel like it's like you can't have a relationship with them. You just feel very turned off or you feel as though there's something going on with you this month that you're not really looking at the whole emotion of all that's within it. Okay. It's just a very fiery energy that stirs your soul that might make you mad, that might make you not understand. And I feel as though it's bringing you this sense of um, that you're not in control of some piece of your life that you really want to, you know, deal with. Okay. And I think it's, she or he is someone that you're not dealing with and <clears throat> your happiness is kind of turned upside down with this person because your 10 of cups is in reverse. So there's some, there's some struggle within a relationship and, and it's something that you hold very true to you, but you can't seem to give that piece of yourself or change the perception because your life is either moving too quickly or you feel as though something is just not right, but you can't come up to maybe say what it is or express how you feel. Now, cancer, is, you know, you're a water sign. So, you know, you might be suppressing things down and down and down and not being honest with this, this other person. You're almost being the victimized by the other person, but it's not really that. It's it's quite the opposite. That's just an energy I get. So if anyone's dealing with a mother or, you know, I, I really get a strong sense of a feminine energy. So it could be a friend, a mother, an aunt, a family member, a lover. It could be... Um, <clears throat> any other feminine energy. And I know it's a general reading, so I don't want to like really press on it too much, but I just want you to be honest with that other person about whatever it is that makes you feel like you want to be combative or frustrated or like you're fighting them off or you're doing everything in your power to um, not engage with them when you really need to speak the truth with them about what's going on right? What you're feeling, what you're, why you're acting the way you are towards them. You know, full disclosure, full truth, full communication is what will help you. That's the advice from the cards. Um, also, I feel like any restrictions that have been on you of now being released, the devil in reverse is meaning that you're, you're, you're let, you're releasing the chains that bind you. You're coming to a point where you're letting kind of the abundance flow and not being so stuck in your own kind of emotional place, right? I think that the moon is just bringing more information, you know, in these full moons. And I think as you go forward, I know this is a February reading, but I feel like the new, the full moons and the new moons will generate more information, more of the mystery will come to light. I feel like there's just things that need to come out a little bit more and, and for you to be able to align and change and redirect um, some, of this, some of this suppressed energy that you're holding. Um, you also have the king, of, the king of sword here, which is complete focus, strength, um, mentally. And this could be an air sign around you. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or... Um, Aquarius around you. So the sun, <clears throat> the sun is in Aquarius, and um, this could be a lot of mental thinking. This could be someone around you that this, you know, is giving you advice or helping you along. Or for some of you, this could be someone that you're releasing, you know, 
what they're burdening you with, okay? But it's to get that clarity and that focus to deal with what you have to deal with. You also have the chariot card here, which is success. This is success in travel. This is success in um, victory in certain aspects of your life. And this is, you know, I feel like it's winter, yes. I feel like this. It, it's part of the season, but I feel like it's a part of um, some piece of you that needs to focus in certain areas. <clears throat> this is kind of a, 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 a reading for me that's kind of a little bit of everything, and it's it's kind of all over for me also, so I hope it's clear for you. But I feel like there's just some some mental focus that needs to be put into what's holding you back so that you can see and perceive situations in a different light. Um, and there is victory. There is success. There is travel. There is new communications. Um, there's hard work this month, and you're saving your money, and you're planning. Um, and I think if anybody has had... Issues with family, issues with emotions, or issues within a relationship, platonic or otherwise, it doesn't matter which type, just an emotional um, place that you've been in that you need these moons to really take you in and out of the energy so that you can, you can see things head on, that you can handle work and what you're saving for and your responsibility and your emotions around friends, family, lovers, right? Because there's a little bit of everything here. And there's also this sense of mother or this sense of, um, some of you could be having an issue with a mother. Okay. There could be some circumstance where you feel, um, you know, if you're younger, maybe you're, you're bound to mother where you're, Finding your relationship isn't going the way it should be. But again, you need to like confront it head on. Okay. Cause I'm getting like feeling like this energy of you don't know how to speak up to what you really want to say. And that's kind of odd for me, Cancer, because you're a very nurturing, guided sign. Yes, you're sensitive, but you're trying to get your shit together right here with a lot of different things. And I think that. Um, it's reflecting on what you're willing to release, what you're willing to let go and what you're really willing to purge out of you and know that nothing can hold you back. Like you, you need to speak your truth and really confront and face situations head on so that you can have this victory and have this understanding and not have this combative competitive energy. So if anyone's feeling that career wise or work wise, It'll work itself out. You're just a little bit stuck with the energy. For some others, there could be some infertility issues. If some of you want to have families or planning families. Um, and some of you, I feel like you're really being held back in a relationship. So I feel like it's your own suppression of what you can't speak and what you can't say that is kind of holding you in that still pattern for the month. Okay, let's take a look at your guidance. So you receive transition and, and, you know, so transition is change, it's shift and change. And, and you're trying to transition into, you know, not who everyone else wants you to be, but who you need to be, who you want to be, what, how you want to make the changes necessary to have good, healthy relationships and, you know, <clears throat> no not much toxicity and how you release and to make yourself become aware of that transition is taking place and it's needed. It's, it's called for you at this time to, to let the transition happen. Right. And when I look at the card on the bottom of the deck, which look at this beautiful eight of wands where for some of you, yes, this is the arrows of love. This is many suitors. This is dating and um, heaven is opened up and is sending you many opportunities with that, not just in love, but with opportunities in all aspects of your life. You just have to open up to catch some of these, right? Be open to accept and open arms to welcome them in. 
and accept the transition and the change so that you can receive these, these blessings that are coming down from above for you. I mean, you can see the Dove of Peace, Harmony, uh, very fiery energy for February. So, you know, the transition card is, it's necessary because it's needed for you at this time, especially with the new moon and the full moon. So you, you might want to, on that new moon, really set your intentions for how you want your relationships to go, what you're thinking, how you're feeling. Um, anybody with any legal um, anything legal with the King of Sword energy and the Devil in Reverse? Um, this could be a month where you're, you're um, that's in your favor for this month. Okay, let me, I just want to pull one more guidance for you before I end this reading. Okay. Healing. See, so you're healing some relationship, you're healing some emotion, and you're transitioning into a new space. So the healing is necessary for the transition, right? And, and the situation or the circumstance that, you, that resonates for you around these cards, um, the healing does take place. And anybody who's felt maybe that you've been held back or something has a hold on you, there's healing involved for you, okay? Beautiful card. And you could see, you know, these are elixirs. These are bottles. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be medicine, but there's just a healing elixir that needs to take place. You know, and some of you, you know, this could, I, I don't know why I see that, but I see a twin flame energy. So maybe some of you are healing a relationship also. But the transition is is definitely with this, so it makes total sense for this reading. But open arms to new um, opportunities that are coming your way, Cancer. Very quick action taken right here in a peaceful, harmonious um, opportunities coming your way. Okay, guys. Um, Thank you for listening. I will talk to you all next month. Much love, much light.